to Southern Cooking with Angela and Friends. I'm Angela Williams and I'm so excited to be with you. We are going to prepare today for dinner chicken pot pie. You know, on a day like today, you need something very comforting and what's more comforting than chicken pot pie? But one thing about chicken pot pie, everybody do it just a little bit differently. So I want you to sit back and watch and see how I do it Southern style. I start off first of all with an onion. I take a medium yellow onion, I cut it up. Then I put a, a tablespoon of olive oil and put my onion inside and just let it uh, cook, saute, or until the, the onion is kind of um, whitish looking. And as I do that, what I've done, I've already cut up my potatoes for my pot pie. I've already cut my chicken up, but this is how I did my chicken. I used three chicken breasts and I put these chicken breasts in boiling water for about 10 minutes just so that it'll get good and done on the inside and all of the juices, when they run out, they run out clear so we know it's done. Then also, I like potatoes in my pot pie. So I put, um, I took three potatoes and I cut them up in little, in little chunks and I uh, already put them in the water and I let the water just, just a little bit, steam them real good and I drain them because I'm gonna mix all this together. And this is such a quick meal. You can have this meal ready in less than an hour, really. So what I've done, now I'm getting ready to um, put my vegetables inside with my onions. And I've taken a whole, what's this, two pounds of mixed vegetables, which contains peas and carrots, green beans, what else? And um, I'm gonna have my onions already in here, okay? I have my onions in here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix it together with the onions. And this is the secret, <laughs> cream of chicken soup. We're gonna put the cream of chicken soup right on top of the vegetables. Don't take long to do this. And I'm gonna add just a little water in my can. I don't like to waste anything. And I want just a little bit of water in this. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna stir it up and pour it right down right on top of the vegetables. And I'm telling you, this pot pie will make your family so happy. Your husband will think that you've gone to cooking school, cooking classes, and your children will think that grandma came over and did it, okay? So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna stir it together. I have my onions, and then with my onions, on top of my cream with mushroom soup, now, I have this thing where I have to put garlic in everything. I'm a garlic person. I'm gonna add just a little garlic to this. Just a little, because I love garlic. I love the taste of garlic. I've got that onion flavor here. Now I'm gonna do a little garlic thing to it. And I'm getting ready now to put my chicken in. You see the chicken is already cut. I'm just gonna put it right on in here. Stir it up. And as you can hear, my oven is already preheated and it's ready to go. But it's got to give me a minute. Now this is my secret, okay? This is Campbell sauces. This is oven chicken pot pie. Although I've used my cream of mushroom, I mean my cream of chicken soup, I am going to put this in also, okay? Because I only use one cream of chicken soup and I could have used two and, not, and then I could have ordered this. But I like this um, Campbell's oven pot pie. Oh, it smells good already. And I'm just gonna dump it in, just like that. And guess what? We're about ready to put this in the pan. Give me one minute. Oh, I forgot one more thing I need to show you. My children say, Mommy, you always create something, you never do it the way I can tell you to, because I like things to taste special. This is cream of gravy mix, or chicken gravy mix. I'm gonna pour my chicken gravy mix on top of this, And I tell you, when it finished cooking, it's gonna be delish. Now I'm gonna stir it all together. I'm not gonna put any water in anything, because I added a little water earlier that was in the pan. I'm just gonna stir it together. Some people avoid um, black pepper, but I love black pepper, okay? And I'm just gonna add a little black pepper to it. And just a little bit of sea salt. A little pinch. That's it. It's all ready. 
Now I am getting ready to get it ready for the big pan. Okay, I've already put my crust in the bottom of my pan. And this is not a homemade crust, this is a store-bought crust. I believe I'm working smarter, not harder. And as you can see, all my ingredients are here for the chicken pot pie. Oh, no, that look delicious. Look delish, okay? Now what we're gonna do is take this and I'm gonna pour it all into this pan. This is a heavy pan to the pot. Put it all here. And this is enough to, okay, this is enough to feed my family of six. And it'll probably last us into tomorrow and we have leftovers, okay? And what I'm doing, I'm spreading it even. Looks good, huh? Look at that. Just look at that. Just look at that. OMG. Like I said, it took a lot of time to do it. I could have added some more corn in it, but I think this is plenty here. My family love corn in the pot pie, and I think this will be fine. Okay, you know what I did forget? I'm gonna get ready to add it now. It's my potatoes. Put them right here. And I'm gonna take this. I'm so thankful that everything you can add stuff to. You know, you can just go on and like, I forgot to do this, and then you go on and put it in there. So glad I have this particular bowl, because it's a big bowl. Okay, now my potatoes are mixed in along with the rest of the veggies. And for those of you that have kids that don't like vegetables, if you give it to them like this, I'm telling you, I don't think you have any problems with them. You've got chunks of chicken in here. So every bite, you're gonna have a piece of chicken, or two or three or four. You got your carrots in here, your peas, your green beans, your corn, and your potatoes. Who could want anything more? Oh, I just think, like I said, don't take anything. I'm gonna call it no time for it to, uh, to get ready. You know what I like about this? When I do put the crust on it, I will do an egg wash when it's almost done. So it can give it that certain kind of look that I want. Okay, here you go. I don't waste anything, put it all in here. See, nothing is wasted. Okay, let's get ready to put the crust on top of that. When we put the crust on top of it, then it's gonna be ready for the oven. And then it'll give me a chance to clean up. I don't like the messy kitchen. I like to have everything cleaned up in the kitchen before I leave out. Okay, I'm gonna just set this to the side. And as you can see, this is what? <laughs> Pillsbury pie crust! Thank God for Pillsbury. I control it, but I don't want to. I'm gonna work smarter and not harder. Gives you more time to spend with the husband, more time to spend with the children, more time to just do some of the other things you wanna do besides be able to stove all day cooking, okay? I have my favorite rolling pin. How many of you got this? Rolling pins. This one is heavy. I need a one well, that's not so heavy. I've already put my flour on my uh, cutting board because I realized that this crust needs to be rolled out some. You know, one thing I really appreciate is home economics class. I took home ec, as we call it in school and it taught us how to do certain things in the kitchen and I'm so glad that I did that because there's so many people don't know how to do something as simple as taking pie crust and rolling it out. Look at that. See how I just stretched that? Because that's a big pan, okay? Now I'm going to turn it this way. Roll this up just a little so I, I need a bigger rolling board, I mean, you know, cutting board, but hey, until I get one, this is what I'll do. So I'll take this and I'm gonna roll this out some more. Make it just a little bit wider so that that crust will fit over all of that. Okay, here we go. I love what I do, I love cooking. People ask me all the time, don't you get tired of being in the kitchen? And I say, you know, just like a painter paints, I think that with the cook, this is like, um, artwork for us when we can take something and make it taste better and um, I love to see my family and friends go oh I really enjoyed your food I never come in the kitchen if I'm sick or feeling bad never you won't find me in anybody's kitchen because I believe that your personality is in your food and I always want people to be happy so I come in here when I'm happy and creative okay there you go we're getting ready to take this hold it some more and this is my very first video, so you guys bear with me. Cooking video that is. Now, here we go. I spread it out. You see that? Oh my goodness. Almost perfect. Almost. Now, watch what I'm getting ready to do here. 
I'm gonna take and cut off what I don't need over here. You know, you could do this on a pie, uh, pie shell, but I didn't wanna use a pie shell because I needed a big one. And um, it would take like two, three pie, pie shells to do what I'm trying to do. And you see right over here where I have just that little room, I'm gonna take this and put it right here like that. Make sure everything is folded like I want it. I'm gonna just go in here just a little bit and cut. That's that extra course. Ta-da! Go over here. I have a little hole here, so what I'm gonna do is just cut this little extra piece off. And guess what? Guess what, people? We are up and cooking with this pot pie. Let's trim this one just a little bit because I think presentation is everything. And you wanna make sure it looks good. Not only tastes good, I want mine to look good. How about you? I don't like to eat anything that's raggedy and all thrown together. That's pretty, okay? Okay, I got it just about what, like I wanted. I got my little size. If it was in a pie shell, I would take the fork and go to the end of it and do that, but I'm taking it using my fingers to press it and make sure it's sealed. Now we gotta give it some room to breathe. So I'm gonna put a hole right here so the steam can come out. One, two, I'm going across here, three, four. We'll do the same here. One, two, three, and four. Okay, this is how it's gonna look, people. This is the finished product. We're getting ready to put it in the oven. Thank you so much. Come back in just a few, and I'll show you how it looks when we finish with it. That's cooking with Angela and Friends Southern Style. Yeah. Okay, what I did, I took it out of the oven, my pot pie, and now I'm putting egg wash on it. I made an egg wash with one egg yolk, and I put a tablespoon of uh, heavy cream on it, and I whisked it together real good. And now I'm putting it on top of the crust, and it's gonna make the crust look so beautiful when I finish with it, because it's almost ready. So I'm thinking we probably have another 30 minutes on this, maybe less, but when this egg wash get up here, and you put it back in the oven, you're gonna be like, oh, isn't that crust beautiful? Beautiful. When we finish this, we're going to make a chocolate cake. I'm gonna show you how to take box cake mix and how you can make it taste just like homemade cake. You know, cake that you make from scratch. All you gotta do is just pay attention. It is so fun and so much fun and it's so easy. I prefer making my cakes from scratch, but sometimes I don't have the time to do it. So when you don't have that time to do it, that extra time, then you can do some things to make it taste just like it was homemade. Nobody would know the difference unless you told them. Okay, isn't that beautiful? Look at this egg wash. I used all of the egg. As you know, I don't like to throw anything away. I like to use all of my ingredients, and all of my ingredients I did use on this. So, here we go. We're about to put it back in the oven for about another, hmm, maybe 20, 25 minutes, if that long. But when we take it out again, it'll be ready for you to see it. It smells delicious in here. This is the finished product. This is indeed my pot pie. Chicken pot pie, Angela's way. It looks delicious. When you see it again, I'll have it on a plate and you'll be able to see all the ingredients that's in it. But right now, we're gonna let it rest for a while. And the next thing is up is our chocolate cake. Get ready to do that now.